hello friends welcome to daring marana youtube channel today we will be discussing about steering gear test there's a loss regulation steering gear test there's a loss regulation okay steering gear test as per solas 1974 chapter 5 regulation 26 okay steering gear test that means as per solas 1974 chapter 5 regulation 26 steering is one of the main part of ship maneuvering so we seen this so smooth and correct working of steering gear is very important steering gear is very important because main it is one of the main part for maneuvering and so smooth and correct working of steering gear is important steering gear test should be done 12 hours before departure of a ship you have to ensure that the steering gear test should be done 12 hours before departure of a ship and steering gear of that ship shall be checked and tested of such checks and tests should include operation of main steering gear auxiliary steering gear except where such gears include tackle okay steering gear test should be done 12 hours before departure of ship and steering gear checks for a ship shall be checked and tested of such checks such that it includes operation of main steering gear auxiliary steering gear except where such gear includes tackle and all the remote steering gear control system the steering control located at the different position on the navigation bridge rudder angle indicator in relation to the actual position of rudder remote steering gear control system for the power failure alarms steering gear power unit failure alarms and the full movement of rudder according to the required capabilities of the steering gear visual inspection of steering gear and connection dingage the operation of means of communication between the navigation bridge and steering gear compartment okay here what are the requirements are we are measuring is before 12 hours of before departure we have to check have some checks mainly the remote steering gear control system and steering control located at different position on the navigation bridge rudder angle indicator in relation to the actual position of rudder remote steering gear control system their power power failure alarm steering gear power unit failure alarm full movement of rudder according to required capabilities of steering gear visual inspection of steering gear and its connection linkage then operation of the means of communication between navigation bridge and steering gear compartment these are the solas requirement for the steering gear so let's discuss about what are the safeties of steering gear motors in a ship two types of safeties will be there motor side safety and hydraulic side safety electrical side safety motor side safety means electrical and mechanical stopper should be there for rudder high temperature alarm should be there overload alarm 200 percent insulation in motor high temperature alarm self starting after power failure phase failure alarm one of the steering motor is from from the machinery from the emergency bus so motor side means electrical and mechanical stopper for rudder high temperature alarm overload alarm 200 percent insulation in motor high temperature alarm self starting after power failure phase failure alarm one of the steering motor is from the emergency bus and hydraulic side safety sir relief valve level switch that is low level low low level alarm for hydraulic oil tank manual bypass valve high lube oil temperature cut out high okay these are hydraulic side safety that means relief valve level switch low level low low level alarm for hydraulic oil tank manual bypass valve high lube oil temperature cut out 